hi there welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome and thank you so much for coming back to watch another video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel my name is Bernice and I do home decor vlogs teacher vlogs perfume videos and vlogs in general and if you like such content do subscribe to my channel it's blazing hot I'm only coming out now I just took a bath it's blazing hot I did my hair edges are doing whatever but i did my hair tell me if you like it okay the lines and whatnot yeah but tell me if you like my braiding twisting technique yeah that's what we have they are nice and long they'll do they'll do keeping my hair um neat my hair is natural so at least that's going to keep the hair in place i I'm going to the local mall. I was just torn between going to the main mall and right now it's around it's literally two o'clock. I'm torn between going to the main mall, which has a lot of stuff, and the main mall, the local mall, that direction, and the mall this direction. I'm torn between those three. But I think I am going to go that way i don't know why but i want to go that way i know there's a shop one of the shop shops um that have very nice dresses so i need to go and check that out i actually wanted to do a lay by at edgar's but the edgar's that way has the same kind of clothes it has the same clothes every single time i go there and then half of the things are in half of the things have like one size and whatnot you know the big Edgar's is in the main mall but oh my skin is burning I have sunscreen on by the way the big mall is that way but it's two o'clock right now and I could make it at half past two but I really don't feel like going there because I'm gonna take a long time I'm going to arrive here after a while and it's also in the same direction as work so nope i don't want to do that so i'm just going to take you guys along i do want to go into clicks and check what they have in clicks i need to look in clicks even if i can get the smaller yana oils like the essential oils I, i'll just see what i get i literally just ended up taking a bath so that i can get out of my bed i can get out of my bed and just go out and have sunshine or whatever because at this point i was in bed for a while and that's very much annoying so i just took a bath and then i remember that i have to go and do what i told you so i'll just write what i need to do here hopefully i do everything if not uh, it's not a problem and i do need to take out money from an e-wallet please pray with me that the banks are not the lines are not long oh my days the lines and this e-wallet thing also is annoying because you literally have to stand in line you know i need to go to the shop shops where i need to get a dress or i'm going to look for dresses and i think i might have to go into pig and pay to look for the rose hip not rose hip man i need to go into pig and pay to look for grapeseed oil and olive oil and avocado oil if i can um if i can get them there that's what i need to do <laughs> yeah but anyways um don't forget to like comment and subscribe i think we need to go i've been talking for a while now i have a whole lot of sunscreen on my face but i feel like i shouldn't be in the sun Mm, these dark spots they, they they are fading but i think whenever i get into the sun they become a bit darker but they are fading anyways don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also give me a like for my hair i did my own hair i repeat i did my own hair yeah see you. hi there i'm back from the store i got a few things i got a dress <sighs> Got a dress from Ackermans and this was 200 and uh, 199.95. It's a long dress, the pattern looks like that. And this is the back, this is the front. So I am gonna have to wear a jacket with it. 
Um, I'm glad I actually got this dress. It's a long, it's a very long dress. <clears throat> I'm glad I actually got it at Ackermann's because it was 299 Rand. When I went to the shop shops, like I had said, a very nice dress that I saw was 250 Rand and I already bought this one so I left the other ones. And then here, um, I got this at Pep Home. I mean Jet Home. I got this at Jet Home. I no longer kind of go to Pep Home that much because there is a Jet Home in my area. So I got two of these. And... Oh, where's the... Where's the one? I got two of them and one was 40, one was 50 rand, 50 rand for two, but originally one is um, 70 rand. And then I got the, I got this notebook for church. I got this notebook for church because my old one is finished and I need to have it for notes and I figured that since it's a it's going to be a new year I might as well buy a new notebook and everything costed me a hundred and forty four rand ninety nine for the pillows. The pillows were a hundred rand both of them but the original price for one was seventy rand. So yeah, that's what I got and then I didn't do the other stuff that I said I was going to do because I did not have time and I had drank a cup of water before I left so I started feeling like I need to go to the bathroom and then I just thought to myself I have to go home because home is where the bathroom is home is where the toilet is these ones at the mall no we're not doing that but anyways I'll check you guys later I'm trying to make something to eat. This is food, I think, from Christmas, Monday. So, I just want to get a bun for myself. Hi there. It's the next day. I basically showed you guys what I got yesterday and I never um, recorded anything else. Right now, we're going back to the local mall where I was yesterday. And I need to withdraw money and I actually have to go and hunt for um cell phones where i can do a lay by for two of them for my cousins i was in Ackermans yesterday and i found a very expensive cell phone for like 2900 and we don't want to get um that um we don't want to get such expensive cell phones for my two cousins they are teenagers and we need to get two so i'm going to look for something around about 1.5 and preferably it's a samsung but if i can't get it i'll just have to wait for next year so we're going back i'm going with my little brother i'm just waiting for him to be finished and then we can start um on the journey it's a it's a nice day outside it's it's okay um it's a bit cloudy but the sun is is there but it's just a bit cloudy so that's what i'm going to be doing and then i do need to deposit money Time bank is weird because you can only deposit money in pick and pay liquor and boxer. Boxer is always full. Pick and pay liquor is alcohol. So I'm standing in line there. It just looks, it just feels odd, but it's quick. So I do prefer going to pick and pay liquor to deposit the money. The boxer that we have, the lines are fairly long, and now people want to do their new year's grocery and whatnot for the new year's um celebrations but i think the pick and pay liquor will actually be very full so we'll look first and then we'll see what boxer is looking like but besides that i just um hope that i do get the cell phones that i'm looking for and oh i need to go to pick and pay to get coconut flakes and food dye food coloring because my mom wants to do red cakes she likes to uh, bake and do all of that so yeah that's what we're going to do and my little brother's going to be driving um so i'll probably be vlogging and i'll show you guys what's happening in my area but i will see you when i probably get in pick and pay yeah i'll whenever we whichever store we start first i will show you guys
We just got to pick and pay. I'm looking for coconut flakes. I'm seeing coconut chips. And I need coconut flakes and food dye. That's what I'm looking for. Woo! My little sister sent us this, guys. Oh my days, it's melting, but I'm gonna eat it because it's going all over us now, so. That's proof, <laughs> 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 I don't like sweet stuff, but now it's dripping everywhere, so I'm gonna eat it. Mm. Hi there, I am doing something in the kitchen. I'm actually cooking, but yeah, I just wanted to chit chat with you guys a bit. I'm actually looking at stuff that I can put a label on um, for my that I can put on a label for my bedroom. Um. But I measured this and this this is cute right as a couch in the bedroom but it is the dimensions are quite big I mean it can fit but it's gonna take up the majority of the space and this is fair price by the way so I want to put these on lay by um, what else okay I just want to show you that for now I don't want to show you other stuff, but I'll just sort of show you that for now. But I just want to put a few items on lay-by for fair price. Um, my headboard is from fair price. You've seen that headboard. I think it was 2500 I like that headboard a lot. It's, 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 it's good. Yeah, it's good. I've seen quite a lot of headboards that are very cute and i've seen those some that are similar basically i feel like a headboard is one of those items that you just de put on display with you don't need to use it it's not it's just there looking at you so it really doesn't matter how much it costs if you have a 1500 labor um headboard or a 6000 rand headboard it really doesn't matter because it's it's a uh, decor what matters is how it looks yeah so I'm just on the fair price um, website so I was looking for those couches but let me check if you guys are still in frame okay you guys are good just looking for those but I can't find any more I've been on the website for quite a while today just going page by page so I guess that's the last page again. Okay. okay. Yeah, so I just want a two-seater. This one here looks great as well. And I do want to get it in. Oh, no, not this one. This one is the sleeper couch. Not this one. I want a proper couch, not a sleeper couch. It makes sense to get a sleeper couch in uh, the bedroom, but no. I'd rather not. This one here. Oh, yes. I was looking at this one as well. Can you see it? It's very pretty for my bedroom, but I'm looking for a gray color. They do have it here. I did see it. Here's the gray color. So I just want to see the measurements. I asked my dad to measure that space for me before I do the lay-by in my bedroom but it seems like oh this one can do actually one point this is 1.8 uh, two centimeters if I were to convert it to centimeters and also the side is 7.9 so this will actually do for my bedroom and this is a sale though. I wonder how much it costs in store. So I will have to look for it in store. It's nice and gray, but I wouldn't use the blue uh, cushions. I probably use black cushions or, or light pink cushions. Yeah, that's what I'd probably do. This is a fair price. I like fair price. When you go there to do your, your lay by, they give you a card. And every time you go and pay it's one year lay by that's why i like it it's not like three months or six months lay by 
So when you go there, they give you that card and then you're able to load your pay, your item, but using that card. So I guess that card um, keeps all your transactions in case you lose your slip, you know. So it keeps all your transactions for you. So what's nice about it is that it's one year. So my headboard, I took quite a while to take my headboard out because I would forget that I actually have a lay-by. And when I do remember, I'll put like a hundred rand. Then I'll forget. Then I go back hundred rand and on and on and on until I said, you know what? Let me just be serious with this thing and pull, pay the amount so that I can actually get it. And I did, and I really like it. So now I'm looking for a two seater, um, small enough to actually fit in my bedroom and something else as well. So. You know, it's just a lot, guys. Having to decorate and whatnot and making your bedroom the way you want it to look. It's difficult. It's difficult. For me, I found that very difficult. I mean, I like decor and whatnot. It's not an issue. But in my bedroom, I've changed so many times. I just can't find. Um, I guess also I have a lot of things in my bedroom which i need to get rid of which i am slowly but surely and then another thing is clothes in my wardrobe the clothes don't fit in my wardrobe as a result they are somewhere else in in these big containers so i need to minimize that by finding more storage for the the clothes in the containers the containers need to go out of my bedroom i have like two of them and then um the other container has bags as well it's, it's a huge container with just handbags and I have to remove those and then I have to I'll have space for the two seater that I'm talking about and also a carpets I had I have space for the carpet anyways but I just feel like it, I need to remove quite a lot of things so that I can actually put in those things that I want in my bedroom which is the couch and the carpet. And then I can start with the proper wall decor and like, sorry, that that's the window that's making that sound, so it's disturbing me. The proper wall decor and images and pictures and art and whatnot. But for now, I'm still battling with sorting things around. That's what I'm battling with. But yeah, I am cooking here. Let me show you what I have made. This is what I made. Um, it's a whole lot of carrots, green peppers, a whole lot of sauce, um, chutney, spices. Yeah, a whole lot of spice, a whole lot of paprika, garlic spice, just everything. And I made macaroni, so this should be very saucy. And I think I'm done because it's been on the stove um, simmering for a while. So I just want to switch that off and then I'm done. I am going to add, um, what's this? I want to add feta cheese when it has cooled down. So that's what I'm going to add. And then I'll be done. I'll show you the final product. I like showing you guys food that I dish up in the presentation. But this is basically just going to be macaroni and my verse this verse i basically cut it up like this so that it looks like meatballs but it's not meatballs but i feel like it's literally the same thing just that with meatballs you have to make them yourself but yeah that's what i'm gonna show you when i'm done let me edit this vlog for now i actually want to get this vlog out by tonight so just gonna add here and there i did not take footage when i was out in town i don't know why because that's what I do. <laughs> that's what I do, but I did not take footage when I was out in town. I think I was just focused on getting stuff and leaving, like I said, because I left and I had drank water. So the majority of the time I was like, I need to get out of here because I need to use the loo. So I didn't take any footage, but do forgive me. This will literally be the last vlog of the year. Can you imagine 2024 is done and dusted? 2023 is done and dusted. Bless my soul. I'm already done with 2024. Child. 2023 is done and dusted. Um, so today is the 29th. Tomorrow will be the 30th. Yeah. So when you do see this, if we reach this part of the video, guys, um, it's been great. 2023 has been great. I don't want to lie. It's been good. Um, God has been good. 
And I hope you feel the same way too for your 2023. It's just been a blessing. It's been fun, good times. Looking back at the pictures, I'm just, it's great. It really is. Hope you had a great time with your family as well, 2023. It's been great. It's been um, blessed and all of that. And 2024 should definitely be better bigger and better and everything that you are praying for must come true in 2024 not that what you prayed for didn't come true in 2023 i'm sure there's a lot of things that happened for you that you you prayed for and happened you know quite a lot of stuff those little things those are the things that you have to count and say thank you god that the small thing happened or thank you god i i bought a a little cell phone for myself or I bought a I know it's a materialistic or whatever or I I didn't have I didn't get I actually didn't get flu this year I got flu but just a bit all right during the winter times I was drinking vitamin C I was pumping myself with vitamin C but that's my point I'm literally so grateful that I did not experience flu this 2023 like the way I would in the past years during winter that's what I'm grateful for because I was just telling myself oh, mm -mm, this flu thing. No, 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 no. Flu is not nice. But you see, there's small things like that that you experience for yourself that you experienced during 2023. You need to be grateful for that. I'm grateful for stuff like that. A whole lot of stuff also that I can mention, but I will not. But you also know what you are grateful for for 2023. So yeah, 2024 is coming to bigger and better. I'm excited for that. <sighs> I'm excited for that. One other thing is I want my hair to grow, guys. I'm tired of struggling with my hair. I think this year was a lot because I kept trying to do stuff with it. And I, this year, 2023 was a year where I was like, my hair is bugging me and my hair never bugs me. But this year was the year. So hopefully 2024 will definitely do better. Yeah, that's what I want to say. I'll show you guys when I've dished up. Um, but for now, I'm just going to edit this vlog. I'll see you in a moment. Here's the feta cheese that I'm adding to my um, meat for my macaroni. This is the one that I found, which was already half. So I'm gonna use one and a half. It should make, should be enough. Oh boy, I'm doing this with one hand. Where are you My mom says she wants to appear on the vlog with her pajamas, girl. Why would you want to appear on the vlog with your pajamas now? Okay, I think this looks great. I'll have to warm up the sauce when I'm about to serve the food later on.
Hi guys, I'm done eating. I just had a bit of food. I put in a small bowl. I didn't feel like having a lot of food because I did eat two slices and um, scrambled eggs during the day. So right now I just ate a small amount of food. I do want to close the vlog here. This is going to be my last vlog for 2023. I'm so excited. Then I am going to see in 2024, which is exciting don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you for reaching this part of the vlog i hope you had a wonderful 2023 and i hope your 2024 is going to be great it's going to be wonderful a successful 2024 all the best for 2024 and stay blessed stay well stay healthy and i'll see you in my next vlog which will be in 2024 bye <laughs> Stay